Hey guys, Cruel Blonde, we're back. I'm Rick. Eric. Aaron. I'm Calvin. And we are back with Re Zero Amelia taking trial part two. Yes, Frozen Witch talking to a Greedy Witch. Indeed. Um, and we learned a lot about Garf. Did. We did. Garf. Indeed. He's an eighth grader. I, I don't know if I like the name Garf. It's not great. It seems wrong. As, it's like Barf. As opposed to Gar? I think I'd rather have Gar. Gar's you much know? better. I like Gar as a name. Gar's like a barbarian. Exactly. Garf is like Barf, yeah. And I feel like you would get that nickname in school. I don't know. Uh, but then he would turn into a cat and eat them. And about, then barf them up what because about of the hair. Garth is okay. I think people should call themselves in anything they want. Yeah. He's and Cal- not be judged. His name's Calvin. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't he have different hair though? Was it in the first episode of the season? Yes. Yeah. Was that when they ambushed He's the, the, one that showed up the survivors with, uh, after the whale? With green, Lundy. green yeah. bunnies. Yeah. The first I don't know why I was thinking he was pride, but that's what I was thinking of too. Was the guy in the very beginning of that? Yeah. But he was greed. What's he doing here? Fucking Shinji. Fuck shit up. Hmm. Shinji. Shinji. Biggest question of the whole episode was just. Well, what happened to her parents? I'm not sure what Mother Fortuna was wearing. Because, like, it was, like, this, like, tight pants that came all up here. But you could, like, the belly button was so deep. You and s- usually that, like, goes away. You can't really see Code Geass. How are you confused? No, they usually don't wear stuff. Well, they do. Just not much. <laughs> Girl, look on. I guess she has suspenders. <clears throat> Yeah, or it's weird. Yeah. Usually that's my hood up. I didn't really didn't bother me. This is their belly button, but like, yeah. like I've seen like like if, if Melly wears something and it, and it comes up over here, yeah. like you, you you get a little indent, but yeah. like you could just see into her belly button. And yeah. I was like, that's weird. It's tight. Maybe she just but it, it doesn't fabric. work. If it's, it's that a, tight, it shouldn't. It's a tattoo. It less. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the cult's fabric because they bring clothes and books. What are you yeah. even talking about? You're right there. Look at a deeper belly button. You're just saying that it's so deep, it's weird that you can see the, her belly button. Maybe she just painted herself. Like, usually, like, it would just kind of be Calvin, over there. And you might get a little bit. How would you do that? I mean, she did she? She got herself covered with ink earlier where the was rest, blue. Where are the rest of any crevices? It's in? just, it's very tight. It's right there. <laughs> Could it be an Audi? She's just smooth. How does that work? It looks like it's going in. Uh, Fans were probably so excited. I can't wait to do this episode and they talk what they're talking it's, about. It's an Audi. Oh, her belly button. button. That's the shadow. It's an Audi being pushed in by the skin tight fabric. It's just into an innie. She's wearing very tight. That makes less sense. Maybe. It's nothing compared to Elsa's outfit in terms of defying physics. And <laughs> I understand that. No, that has like wires and tape. And There's like tape being used and stuff. No, um, otherwise, no. Good. I liked it. I like being able to go back and see like where crazy. Amelia has been and what she did. And I need more. But the story this, is is the, this is the trial that she failed I already. I need to see the life of Geis. Goose? Goose. Goose? Is it like goose? goose? It's like yeah. Goose. Goose. It's Goose. Goose? I didn't even know how like, he became like what he juice. became. Yeah. Well, he started to cry, like, you know, crying in obsession, so much must be happy, you know? Like, that's like one of ten. Sure. You know? One. It's like he, three. He wears the emotion on his sleeves, but his emotions changed. I mean, he'll get to... He'll, he's still happy. <laughs> he is happy. It's just it other makes, things make him happy. It makes sense as to why he acts as he does if he's that old. Like, his fingers just, are so nice right now. Yeah. He's just in. Well, yeah, he hasn't bit him off and peeled uh-huh. him, degloved them, as it were. I mean, his face completely changes. It's because he's always doing. Ah! I know, yeah. And the What's... witch's cult seems so nice and helpful. They, they are. They are. They're protecting these people who are living in the these elves. woods. Who it did say that they're like being forced to live here. Yeah. So the elves, who are this marginalized people, are living here where there's no seasons. Well, right. Are we still in a point where like the witches were an issue? The you know, know Satella the... did her thing, so people don't like elves. So like they have to seclude themselves, but they're trying to help them and be nice to them. Yeah, I don't know what the seal is. I, think so. I don't know mm-hmm. what all of that is. They're referring to themselves as the transgressors as well. Mm-hmm. So like maybe it's a kinship between two uh, ostracized peoples. Maybe, maybe. yeah. Like. Well, if the Satella thing, if she's already been, like, you know, killed or trapped away or whatever, pretty sure it's the seal thing or whatever that's happening. Like, if they are, are still keeping up, like, the parts of their their order that they're allowed to keep up, maybe some kind of difference towards the, so it would be like, the people that their master originated from. It'd be like Star Wars with the Sith, I think, where, like, there is a Sith race. 
which would be like bad guys. And then there's the Sith, like religion side of it. So like the elves, I think are like, well, they are descendants from like what the witch was, whatever. So the people look at them badly. And then you have the cult people who are like, they worship the witches and look at them that way. So they both, for kind of different reasons, but the same reason, are ostracized from typical community and stuff. But they're working together because of. So her father is an elf, right? We at least know that because Mother Fortuna's brother is her father. Yeah. Yes. Right? And, so, and, then and we know that she's a half elf. Yes. So the and other half has to be something, not elf. Is it just, is it straight up Satella? You are the daughter of a witch? But and Satella that's why was a, she's so was a half elf too, right? And to be, I don't know. That would make her. Unless the father was also half elf, right? That would. That's the only way she could stay half. Yeah. There was a weird distinction made whenever she was mentioning her brother and her sister, and Gu said, "You mean your brother and your and his wife, right?" Implying like, don't call that person your sister. That's at least kind of what I got. Mm. Like, we don't. You wouldn't call that person your family. That's his wife. Yes, but don't. Put yourself with them. My guess is because they're not an elf, but yep. I don't know if that's. But he's not an elf. True. Yeah, but he reveres the elves. Sure. I think, maybe. I was wondering if like he, the 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 mother, the sister, the wife. If it's like we don't speak about them in those terms. I don't. I don't know. I didn't really get any animosity from him, but it seemed a weird distinction to make. Yeah. Sure. No, I get you there. Like there was something like there's there was like more story that like they're not telling us right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they're they're giving a little it's bit. It's like. Of Look, he's my brother, but he's adopted. You know? Like, you're creating separation. Yeah, his wife, not your sister. Don't tell people that's your sister. It's like, oh, my brother. Well, your sibling. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, there's, like, some kind of distinction that you need to make extra. I don't know why. Well, I guess my guess right now is that Satella could be the mother. I, I, maybe we're thinking of that as a metaphor and it's meant to be taken as literal. I'm not really sure. I mean, she straight up called her witch's daughter, but... I don't even know if witches can have children. What? I don't know. Well, sure. I don't know. Like, maybe. Is it a? Well, I don't. I don't know. Cause I don't know what happened here. And like, there's obviously some kind of freezing thing, and they go on. But like, is there like when you look at the adoption kind of thing? Like, is is a witch something that you can be? Like, can you be the daughter of a witch, and like, thus you are a witch? Or is it like you have to learn to be a witch, even if you have power? Like, I imagine uh, that the witches are just humans with abilities, or are they an actual different race? Uh, like entangled. I don't think they're a different race. I think it's something that's like someone found or discovered this power, and from that point on, it's like been passed down. Why does Goose live for so long? What's he? So he's even been long, around for a long time. He becomes an archbishop of the witch, right? He's not. He's just a bishop right now. They said, right? But yeah. he becomes an archbishop. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But like the green guy seems he was he said he said he was an archbishop. Now, Sin right? archbishop. So like he is the Sin one now. Sin archbishop of representing. Whereas Goose right? will be one later. My big question who's is it now? what is the seal and what does it do? And, and also right, she calls her aunt her mom. Yep. Who is her daddy? Her mother and what does he do? I'm saying like some of that stuff I feel like is a matter of like relation to where you are and who there is like what well, I was saying it's entangled. The one girl is kidnapped you know from her parents. But then she's raised as being the daughter of this woman. Mm-hmm. Calls her daughter, calls her mother, yeah. and it's not that they actually are. It's just that's maybe it's like when you're a you nun, know? and you can be like mother superior, yeah. or sisters, yeah. sister act. Mm-hmm. Maybe I don't. Know. I have a lot of questions. Yeah, but none more pressing. It seemed belly. like the lesser <laughs> spirits were guiding her to that seal. Yeah, and yeah. tempting her. But that's yeah. why I'm like, are they good or bad? Right? Is, is breaking that seal, what does that do? Does that freeze everybody? Does that... I think I it, imagine so. I think it unleashes up? the this maybe the spirits of the witches. Because there's or, all the coldness around it, too, like, right? Yeah. Like maybe snow. it pucks in there. <sighs> He's like, fuck the world. We've seen him do that before. Puck it all. Also, in the beginning of this, Puck said, oh, that's right, you don't know my name, implying that she did know his name before he took the memories, right? Well, there's she doesn't know Puck now. There's something there, because he also was apologizing for not finding you for so long, and I've been yeah. looking for you. So it seems like there's, there was a connection before, well, he which had, he could have been the lesser spirit, and then he gets poofed into a He figure. had an oath to not interfere with her life, yeah. and he broke it. By someone. It must have been another witch, maybe, or... I don't know who else are the spirit users. Like, the reason her. she's so special now, as this little girl, is... Because she's a witch's daughter? Seemingly she can open the seal. 
And I don't know if anyone can do that. Yeah. And they know that's the case because I'm assuming she's a witch's daughter, right? So did did she... I mean... Like, they know that's possible. It's not like just like, well, any, but any child of destiny can... Like, they know there's something about her that can do it. But why would the Archbishop of Greed... Oh, no, I'm sorry. What is... Um, who is Goose serving right now? Is he I serving think, Envy? I don't think he's serving anything right now. But I don't think... Like, like whatever they are... Right? I, and this oh, is, it was... It, it becomes slot. This is pure yeah. speculation. But I, I feel like they are something now... Then after whatever happens, they become that. None of them are wearing their hoods. He, you know, he's not biting his fingers and going insane. Yeah, but they did call because him of that. Bishop he doesn't have the book. They did call him Bishop. Like, he did talk about being yeah. sinful, like different sins and stuff. Like mm-hmm. all that stuff is still there. Yeah, I just don't know if it's like. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That just like I said, that was just my assumption. Like this is what he was. Then plus whatever happens <laughs> equals what we've seen in. I mean, it could be the witch's cult becomes even worse, so they start wearing hoods to hide their faces to be able to, like, blend in with crowds when they're yeah. not. Yeah. You know, versus being recognizable. Like, Amelia was like, ah, you know. I feel like when I wear a funny hood, I'm wearing more likely to see you. Yeah, but to, when I'm not, you won't know you. who I am. True. <laughs> but I'll be curious. Of what? If I'm just walking down, like, the block, walking down New York City, see a guy in a pointy hood... Or it's a regular guy and I can see his face. No. That's, I'm way more interested in the pointy hood that's guy. not when they wear it. be like, I gotta see who this guy is. No. Interested? Like, way more interested. No, but those, they put those on and then they rob the bank. Now yeah. You see them go into the bank, you see them rob the bank, yeah. you see them leave, yeah. and then they take them all off. You don't know who they were. Yeah. But I'll know him more. Not anymore. Only then. And you know nothing about him because he wore a hood. But he's still wearing the robe. No, he took it off. He took the robe off? Well, they didn't. They had the robe, but... Later they put on hoods. Does he have anything else on? <clears throat> Under the robe? They also it's don't want to talk about hands. her mother and father. Yeah. I don't know. So no, is, no is, is she some kind of like, you know, some kind of prophecy child that was foretold thing? There's got to like, be a reason that they all treat her like that. Like, are they keeping her safe so that she doesn't? unlock the seal ever or are they keeping her safe so that she can unlock the seal when she's ready I feel if, like if Puck is in there that doesn't make sense though is he the one that is supposed to like protect her like if you have a seal and it's right here and you never want to open it and the only thing that can't open it is this kid they need to be more than a afternoon's walk away I know but they're forced to stay there I suppose. And they're also guarding it, right? Because he kept asking, mm-hmm. too, is the seal good? Like, yes, it's good. It's like they check on it. They make sure it's okay. So it's like, I don't know. I if, also if you cause this anti-kid like, things around them. If you cause this, like, ecological disaster, yeah. something like that, and then another group comes in and, like, contains it, and they force you to stay in that area, it's like, okay, you keep your eye on this shit. Make sure it doesn't happen again. Because you caused this, we helped you and fixed it, now you're responsible for it. Is that kind of like how it is? or Maybe. I mean, they're literally locking her in a house. I know. Like, Well, no, she was allowed to go. They, they say that she was allowed to learn and just, play and yeah. stuff. Well, when they're just under they supervision. Locked her in there. Right? She can't do yeah. anything by herself. They well, locked her in there when they went to see uh, I think Goose. it was when Goose was coming in. They would yeah. lock her in there. Because they didn't want to meet. Whenever she like she like she would I don't know what she she's so full of energy runs off comes back all muddy it didn't yeah. sound like she was like I watched her roll in the dirt you know yeah. it sounded more like I let the kid out to play and he, she came back yeah, it's only when they're here <clears throat> and it's because there's like but it didn't seem a big deal that when that Geese saw her maybe I mean, they're worried about it was a big deal it for was him a big deal for him maybe yeah. they're worried about like other factions maybe like other. Other of the witches' cult coming yeah. in that have more like sinister. I guess because I don't know the stakes. I don't know. The, I don't know what are precautions and what aren't. And it only seems to be Fortuna that, like she said, I may be the only one who says it, but we're all very grateful. Mm-hmm. So, like, what do the other elves think of these people? Well, I mean, they they're, they're always like smiling they're... when they're taking the bags of food and clothes and stuff. But I'm sure they don't appreciate being. Trapped in a forest. I think it's kind of cool. It never snows. People bring me clothes and books. But are they trapped by these people? Not by the witch's cult. I think they're trapped or forced to stay there by humans. By like the if king? They, I don't yeah. think they, if they left, the cult would be like, ah, get them. Yeah. I don't think the cult would, no. I think they're, they're like... They're supplies to help them right now. Yeah. 
bring in relief supplies or like yeah, I don't know mm. <clears throat> I don't know I have a lot of questions I have I enjoyed seeing what we got I hope that we get I need this needs to be yeah. like a part one of a two part yeah or a three. Yeah. yeah. I just want them to keep going, and I want to come back and then go back out and see Subaru and Gar, and they got to go talk to Shima, and then there's all that going on. I want them to stay in here. I want to see what happens. I want a kid to be like, trial time, you know? Whatever it is. Well, Whatever we were going to do. She did get. say that the, the warming up period is over. So is it going to get cold now? Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of ReZero with us. Please come along for more. We have more questions that must need answered and maybe a couple of them will be uh, in the next four episodes you can go to patreon.com slash blind wave watch that right now belly button so, see, uh, belly button so tight <laughs>